Hey guys, Zach Colburn, online fitness coach, coming at you from my bedroom in San Diego. What I want to do today, guys, is talk to you guys about the truth of getting lean. Now, I am an online fitness coach, and my job is to help other people create their dream body by building lean muscle and burning body fat. Um, it started about 10 years ago when I had the problem of being really, really skinny. And I wanted to build lean muscle and build a body that I could feel confident in. And I had gone through a personal transformation in my own fitness journey and I've learned so many lessons, um, you know, just navigating through fitness, trying to build muscle, trying to burn fat, and just ultimately trying to build my dream physique. Now, I feel that today I rock the body that I've always dreamed of having. And it's taken a long time, but I figured out what works and I now help other people do the same. And I help other people get results. Um, so... When it comes to getting lean, there's a few things that I had wish I knew when I first started my fitness journey. So what I want to do is break down a couple myths and teach you guys the truth of getting lean, what it really comes down to. Now, a lot of people believe that, and, this, and when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about myself here. This is what I thought when I was first starting my fitness journey based off of the lack of information that I had, based off of the information that I heard from other people, based off of the things that I read in magazines. And, you know, they all led me in different directions. One of those things was that I needed to do cardio to get lean. I needed to do cardio to get lean, uh, burn body fat. I thought the more cardio I did, the more fat that I would uh, burn. But that's just not the case. It turns out the more cardio I did, the better I got at running. At first, I saw some results. You know, I dropped a couple pounds. But it seemed that the more and more cardio I did trying to burn body fat, the less and less body fat I was burning and the better I was running. And it seemed like the more I was running, the more I had to run to get that same effect. And I realized, you know what? Maybe this isn't working. Maybe this isn't the right approach. Um, so that was the first myth that I had to get through is that cardio does not actually equal more fat loss. Cardio is actually a tool to aid in the process of fat loss, but it's not the derivative. It's not the driving factor in the process of burning fat. The second is fad diets. I thought that, you know, with limited dieting information, I didn't really understand how you can use nutrition to burn body fat. And I will say right now, nutrition is going to be the number one way you burn body fat. Um, and there's a bunch of different topics on, the, on this story. Or on, there's a bunch of different micro topics on this topic. So if you guys have more questions about, about it, you can always shoot me a message or leave a comment down below. And I'll reply with an in-depth video response on the topic. But essentially, I knew that nutrition was a part of the puzzle. I knew that nutrition was how people lose body fat and get really lean, but I didn't know how. So what I would did is I started cutting out foods, I started cutting out sugars and processed foods, which is a great place to start. I did see awesome results doing that and I felt better and I felt healthier by cutting out these foods. Um, but eventually I got to a point to where I wasn't losing any more body fat. I was doing a ton of cardio, eating really, really healthy, but I wasn't getting the result. What gives? I was like, what gives? I was so confused. Turns out, guys, you don't need to do cardio to burn body fat. Cardio will help, absolutely, but it's not necessary. Second thing is, when with nutrition, you need to be paying attention to caloric intake. That is what is going to help you get lean. Those are the things that I wish that I knew when I first started my fitness training. When it comes to getting lean, building lean muscle, and building your dream physique, there are certain things that you just have to do um, that are proven to work and proven to build muscle and proven to burn body fat. Number one is track your calorie intake. In order to burn body fat, you need to eat in a caloric deficit. Now, caloric deficits will be saved for a different video for a different time, but essentially what you need to know now is you need to eat less than your body needs in a day to burn fat. If your body needs 3,000 calories, and you're only eating, or you're eating 2,500 calories, you will burn body fat and get lean. Plain and simple. The problem I was having back in the day is I wasn't tracking caloric intake, and I was eating the same amount that my body needed, and I wasn't losing any weight. Yes, I had cut out processed foods, but I still made up those calories um, by compensating with more healthy food. I was still eating the same amount of calories, and I wasn't getting anywhere. So in order to burn body fat, I needed to actually remove calories from my diet and, and make sure I was doing that by tracking my calories to ensure that I was eating in a caloric deficit. Now, anytime I remove my calories or anytime that I want to get lean, say I go through a muscle building phase and I put on a little bit of body fat, 
Anytime I wanted to get lean, I could do it with the snap of my fingers. It is super, super easy once you understand the principles of how to get lean. The second thing you need to do is actually lift weights. Now, I thought that doing cardio was going to help me lose weight, but it turns out lifting weights is actually going to help you build muscle, which is going to give you that toned, strong, aesthetic look with the muscle, the shoulder, the muscles that are popping. That's actually what's going to give you that look of being lean because you have definition for more muscle mass. The other thing too is having more muscle mass burns more calories at rest uh, than not having a uh, thing of muscle mass. Now I think, and don't quote me on this, it's either 50 or 70 calories, a, a pound of muscle burns, or it might be five calories, it's one or the other. Regardless, having more muscle is gonna burn more calories at rest because that muscle mass is gonna demand more energy. And it's also going to give you the illusion of being lean because you have more muscle mass that pops through the body fat. So with those two things, that is the truth in building a lean aesthetic physique. Lifting, lifting weights and tracking your calories, those are going to be the number two things that you need to do. And of course, giving it time. Time is going to be the uh, other piece. Um, you can you know, lift weights, you can build or you can track your calories. But it's not going to happen over a week. Building your dream physique isn't going to happen in one week. It's going to take time. You have to take about six months to a year. That is the truth. Plain and simple. I'm not going to be here and tell you lies and say, hey, you can build a six pack in 30 days. Or say, hey, you can get these results overnight. I did it the slow way. I did it naturally. I did it the way that, you know, I can maintain it for a lifetime. And so it is a lifestyle, but... If you're looking to get results, it's not going to happen overnight. It is going to be a time investment, and it is going to take time. Um, so that's the truth. Track your calories, lift weights, give it time, be patient. Guys, Doc Colburn here. I'm here to help you get in shape. If you guys are interested in coaching with me, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and want to hire me as your trainer, then you can hit the link in the description box below, and it'll take you to my application form where I accept clients. I'll be reaching out to you to set up a phone call to see if you and I are a good fit to work together. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram, that's Z-A-K-K-C-O-L-B-U-R-N. With that, guys, if you have any more questions, you can leave them down in the description box below. I'll be happy to make a video response answering those questions on a deeper topic. Um, but with that, hope everyone has a good week, and we'll catch you in the next video.